God, Emma! Ah, oh, Jesus Christ! Oh. 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 oh, fuck my life. Okay, you scared me. Jacob. You're okay. I guess you could call it that. Oh, God. What the fuck is going on? Look, I don't know, okay? Some, like, bear attacked Nick and Abby back there. Yeah, me too, but it definitely was not a bear. What? Who? When? Why? Sorry, I'm just... I'm glad you're okay. Yeah, barely. I mean, the thing that attacked me at the treehouse was like... What? It was like what, Emma? Like, out of a horror movie. Okay, um... Well, it, it was probably just like a, a bear trying to defend itself, you oh, know? Oh, don't be a dick! You, you know it wasn't a fucking bear! No, you're right, you're right. And now we have these fucking the, the hunters running all over the place. So that's a fun new wrinkle. What? Look, don't ask. That fucking thing bit me, dude. Really need Caitlyn to look in it. I... Wait, it bit you? That little scratch? Oh. I, uh... Could have sworn it was much bigger before. Okay, we've got to get out of these woods. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. <laughs> You know, Jacob, you don't have to be a dick about literally everything. Hey, I'm trying to keep us alive. I've been doing pretty good by myself. What? I don't need you to rescue me. I'm not going to suddenly fall in love with you just because you're my knight in shining armor. You know, I wouldn't be surprised if you set this all up. Oh my god, what?
Is she like one of those hunter dudes? I don't think so. Should we do something? What can we do? She's dead. I mean, with the body. That's Kaylee Hackett. Mr. H's daughter? I thought she went home with her brother. Kaylee. Yeah. I thought so too. Oh man. Poor Kaylee. Nick. You smell so good. You all right there, bud? Maybe dial it back a bit, huh? Fuck off, Caitlin. Whoa! Nick, what are you... I want to taste you. Hey! Come here, huh? Ugh, Nick, what the hell? Ugh, get off! Ugh, but watch out! I said get off! Get him in the pool house. Dry him off. Just try to rest. I'm sorry. Ah! Quit moving so much. It's pretty clean from what I could tell. I mean, it's not bleeding. But you need to see a doctor. <sighs> Look, this is all I've got left from the nurse's station. Ooh, fun. You better hope uh, we find you some real help before they wear off. We need to be keeping a record of everything that happens. For the police. Yeah. Dead girl in the pool needs some explaining, huh? <sighs> Easy, man. I mean, like, photos, whatever we can. Yeah, I've got a funny feeling the cops are not going to want to believe any of this crazy shit unless we've got some hard proof. From now on, if you got your phone and you see something, take a photo or a video or whatever. Yeah. You okay over there, Abby? Look, why don't you look around and see if you can find anything to help make Nick more comfortable? I wonder where Caleb is. Place was
So different, like 12 hours ago. Yo, something is not right with that boy. Dude is real sick. Did you see how he freaked out in the water? Yeah, he was like, uh... He was like a fish out of water. Right? Uh, sure. You know, something was weird when I tried to clean his wounds, too. At the lodge. What do you mean? Well, all of his clothes were bloody, but I couldn't find where he was bit. Or scratched, or whatever. He just kept moving around, like he didn't want me to see how badly he was hurt. Huh. Mm, rabies? He's not frothing in the mouth. <sighs> I think Abby would beg to differ. Point. Yeah, isn't aquaphobia a symptom of rabies? Hydrophobia, yeah. But I think it's more about a fear of drinking, not just getting wet. This was like... Like my cat in the bathtub. <laughs> yeah. Abby? Yeah? Can I ask you something? Of course. Do you like me? N Nick. Please, just tell me. I've really enjoyed spending time with you this summer. Such a... Oh, such a... Such... what? It's, it's such a cop-out answer. <sighs> Abby? Uh, what? I've got something to ask you. Uh, yeah. Okay. Why don't you like me, Abby? I do like you. No, no, you don't. You don't like me at all, do you? What do you mean? Tell me the truth. I am telling you the truth. God, I sure know how to pick up. What? You're not really very smart, are you? Poor stupid Abby. Stop. Easy pickings. Oh, right off the bone. This isn't you. I mean, this this isn't you. I... <gasps> Whoa. Whoa, Abby. Uh. Abby, everything okay? Holy shit.
Excusez-moi. Ah, c'est bon. Ok. So, if I were a counselor at an off-season camp, partying around a bonfire, and it started to rain, and there were monsters, I would go to the lodge. stories again. I had no idea kids were getting freaked out about this stuff. We officially suck as counselors. Only one left. I've never done this before, Pop. Let's do it fast, that's it.
Caitlin! Ryan! Abby! This doesn't feel safe. Ryan? Killed him. I mean, dead people don't usually jump out of windows and run into the forest. I just don't get it. Nick was. That was not Nick. And where the hell are Jacob and Emma? Don't you think we should have run into them again by now? Well, they're probably just blinking their brains out in some cabin somewhere. I don't know, man. Something fucked up is going on. The hunters, Chris running off, Nick. Kaylee. Oh, God. Kaylee. Hey! Oh, shit. Where the fuck is Chris Hackett? Go away! I'm a friend. Let me in. You killed Kaylee! Who? Look, I can help you. Just let me in. My name is Laura Kearney. So? So let me in. It's not safe out here. Uh, yeah, there's a crazy woman with a gun killing people. I'm not killing people. Holy shit, you... Laura Kearney? You're Laura Kearney? Yeah? You were supposed to be working, uh, helping out in the nurse's office, right? And you never showed up? Uh, you and the guy, what's his name? Max? Yes, Max. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Mr. Hackett said that you had changed your mind last minute. I, I think that we should, I think that we should listen to her inside. I don't know. I don't trust her. Dude, it's dangerous out there. Yeah, she's dangerous. Whatever, man. You're not in charge. Dude. <laughs> fuck, Hello. Dylan. Here we are again. Just you and me. Why don't we take another look at what you've found? Justice. An eye for an eye. Not exactly in some cases, but cause and effect. Actions and consequences. There's a balance to everything and we all play a part in making sure the scales aren't The moon, how poignant. Tonight of all nights, to harness your fear and anxiety and turn them into intuition. If you can do this and plan ahead, your cunning might just save your life. Now tell me, would you like to delve deeper into one of many possible futures? Make 
your choice. Off you go then. Top, top. One down, remember. Isn't that terribly exciting?